Jace Lejeune here at Gridiron Football. I know I just talked to Robert Casongo of Gridiron Football American Bowl Game Invite. Also going to talk to another Catholic High Bear that's also plays in the secondary. That's also another Gridiron Football American Bowl Game Invite. And that's Colin Coates. And if you go to our website, gridironfootballusa.com, you can keep up with Colin, what he does throughout the whole season because he's part of our player profile cards this upcoming year. So you keep up with Colin throughout the rest of the year. Make sure you go to our website there. But Colin, I uh, got a chance to talk to you at Rayville High School as well for a little bit so coming up this upcoming season I know you're not as talkative as Robert is um I mean he has pretty much a natural this business coming up right um but Colin this upcoming year like I'm gonna pretty much ask you the same question as I did him you're going on a retreat in just a couple hours so how important is that for you to have that experience uh team bonding experience to get better uh I think it's very important for us as a team to be able to have that have that opportunity to be able to grow as a team. Not a lot of other teams have this opportunity. I think it's very important for us to be able to accomplish this. I really talk about really y'all as a whole as a secondary. I know we talked earlier in the spring about you know how talented this group is, but talk about how close y'all are as a unit as well. Well, this is another thing that I feel like we're coming into this year better than we did last year in is that's like bonding. I think we're coming together a lot better than we were last year, even though that we still had a good year last year. I think we started not how we wanted to do, so I think it's going to be a lot better start this year, second in the secondary at least. Y'all just went through a whole spring. I mean, when we, when we talked to y'all last time, y'all didn't really go through the spring yet with Coach Ford and the staff. So what do you think about really this new staff after you really got a chance to really know them throughout spring? Yeah, kind of what Rob said. He said, like, didn't really know what was going on when we first had it, but now – I'm starting to like what's going on over there. I think they're doing a really good job, and I guess we're going to see how it's going to go in the season. Well, I know you played a lot, you know, had a good role last year, kind of a breakout year for you, but I know you're going to have more of an expanded role this year for you, so personally. So what what do you trying to prove? What are your goals for your upcoming year? Uh, I'm just trying to do what I can do, the best ability I can do, and help my team win a state championship. It's my main goal and help the team. Well, I know uh, y'all going to be definitely one of the favorites for your district and obviously a run to the state championship. And uh, like I said, for the Kerr Dog faithful, the Kerr Dog fans, what, what they should expect for the 2023 version of the Catholic Hot Bears. Hopefully that state championship. That's all I can say. <laughs> Simple as that. I mean, you don't have to really say much after that, right? The state championship or bust has gone to mindset at Catholic High. Uh, but Colin, uh, keep an eye on him throughout the season. Go to gridironfootballusa.com. We have our player profile cards. I know Colin's one of the guys we'll follow extensively and exclusively throughout the season. Um, but looking forward to see what the Catholic High Bears do this upcoming year. And hopefully we get to see Colin and, and Robert you know, show their off their skills in the ground football all-American bowl game at the end of the year in December.